Hey, good morning, and welcome to Sunday, and I'm drafting. Um, again, I'm going to do with uh, Theros Beyond, Dra uh, Beyond Death here, because um, that's basically the only option we have right now. Which is fine. Woo! Hitting that. Going hard in the paint this morning on white. Not passing that out for nothing. So just so we're aware, that uh, gives me a 5-5 five, five indestructible if I have a uh, 5 devotion. Whenever I gain life, I put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on target creature or enchantment I control. That's hot. I like it. Let's see what else we can get in there with it. Are we going to side it with green or red? I've had 7 wins with both those combinations. This card is really good as well. Um, I don't think I'm running three colors, though. Card's good, and it, it does kind of pair with that one. Uh, four or greater, and most of the creatures in here do get big. I think that's... I think that's my pick here. Okay, we have a decent green creature. We have Heliod's Pilgrim. Searches for an aura card, and that is ultra valuable. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we're probably gonna go with Heliod's Pilgrim here. Um, oh, there's Aroa's Blessing. So that that card makes pairing with red quite good. Do like aspect of the Manticore, not as much as I like Pious Wake over there. Another Aroa's blessing, another Triumphant Surge, but I think I'm going to go with Aroa's blessing here. Thundering Chariot. Crew one is good, that's for sure. But I don't think I like it as much as Agent Aspect of the Manticore. We're gonna take that. Uh, we'll take the owl. Transcendent Envoy. We'll probably have to take this Phoenix of Ash. Ah, I can't talk this morning. Phoenix of Ash. Um, it's, just, it's just better than any other card in the pack, really. Um, this guy, this card, this pack is filled with good stuff for us. Uh, we're taking NX because he's just fantastic. So at this point, we just want to kind of be low on the curve. Oh, that's really good. revoke existence pretty strong here. Omen of the Sun, been looking for some of these. That'll definitely get on the team. 
We got a Daxos. Woo! Boy, this deck is really working out right now. kind of tough. Um, discard your hand and draw three cards. Escape two when you see huge. But you got to exile eight. Ugh, I don't know. He's good, but he's definitely top of the curve. I think I have to take Banishing Light. It's just better in what we're doing. deck's pretty much filled out. I'm just kind of picking randomness at this point. Unless something really, really good comes along, which is not currently happening. Ooh. Yeah. Too expansive. deck seems really really good this is one of those ones where if we lose we're really just beating ourselves. um don't think this guy's where i want to be Do not need four of those. He doesn't make it. Probably don't need those. Still needs me to get rid of four. This is tough right here. Yeah, I can't believe I'm getting rid of that, but that's conditional removal. And we're more in a, of an aggressive deck, so I'm not sure that's where I want to be. This guy's high on the curve and doesn't give me that much back. And then I got one more spot. Hmm. 
Oh. Probably gonna regret this, but I'm gonna take out Thrill of Possibility. We have this very, very low curve, <coughs> very high reward factor for being fast, and that that's what got me seven wins last time, so we're doing it. Okay. Let's see how good this deck is. Oh, hey, man. How's it going? Thank you for showing love. Yeah, I've, uh, I've just started getting back into it. A couple weeks ago, but I, it's been spotty. This is the first time I've broadcast for two straight days in a while. This is a pretty good, but not fast, opening hand. I'm on the play, though, so that's good. And, of course, Heliod is awesome, so... Pious Wayfair. Hit the board. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, really good. Um, we're just gonna hold out. Planeswalker. Uh, it would do six if I don't block. I think it's what, an 01? But I can gain life too when I do it, so I'll probably go ahead and hit that guy. like that's the right thing to use here. Do uh, we want to use it there? So I get a clean hit in? No, I think we want to use it. is currently three. Boy, Heliod's really good. Yeah, he is. 
He's dumb. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing pretty good here. If you hear me sniffling and sneezing, it's uh, it's allergies. I do not have the gonorrhoeopsifilades, COVID nine, whatever thing. I'm good. And I'm totally stuck at home these days. I was working for Uber and Lyft, but uh, my wife convinced me that I should probably stay home with us having a one-year-old. He's like, nah, Heliod's really good. <laughs> Yep, no, we've got the whole, I mean, we are stay indoors champions right now. We don't have to leave for hardly nothing to get our groceries delivered and, you know, like, most of my stuff through the mail. I don't really need nothing. It's kind of sad, really. Heliod really runs away with the game. The other card that runs away with the game if left unchecked is that one where it doubles the counters. Um, it's an enchantment that doubles the counters on the creature. Man, if you don't have a removal for that, that is insane. He goes first, which is why I decided to keep this hand. That it's already got a low curve and I can pretty much cast everything. I got my mountain and my planes. Can't cast that yet, but I'm sure it'll come. Alright, so we're going to start off with Pius. This thing has to die. Because it's annoying. Uh, does it have to die yet? That's a good question. Well, that thing comes down whenever I want, so... my other plane so I now can cast everything in my hand. Over of Aroas. Oh man, essential jobs. Really amazing what they consider essential, my friend. Amazing. Uh, oof. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and upgrade this guy. Yeah, I had a feeling something was coming. That's fine. So much goodness here. Um, I think I cast. Do I do anything yet? I don't think I do. I think I just cast him and cast her. on guys what you got for me he's just gonna pass it back
Um, it doesn't matter. Drawn a lot of lands here. We're going to go all in and see what happens. Sure, get in there with that oven. Like, I want him to die. <clears throat> Alright, so two, three, so I'll be able to make him live. Oh, no, I won't be able to make him live. Hmm. But I can make him kill all of them. That's maybe just as important. Save him? He is going to save him. Wish I could give that. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. I think that's as good as we could hope for. Uh, we're going to keep that land in hand and keep him guessing. We're going to cash in the Omen of the Forge because I got Heliod, so I want to keep my devotion to white up. We got a Ragey and we got a Phoenix. I'm going to do it like that. down to seven. Again, I'll keep this land in my hand. I have five cards in the graveyard, so I should be able to bring back a Rage Hound if I want next turn. We'll see. We'll see where we might be able to bring back both if I play my land. Oh no! You bastard. Doubt he attacks them. Alright, so I got Ragey Boy, so I'm gonna play this. And go ahead and attack. He's gonna go to three. Ragey Boy number one. Boy number two. <clears throat> I think that's going to be all for him. You were a brave competitor, Quantum, but my my dudes are very solid. So we got two wins in short order, which is exactly what we want to do with this deck. We would just pound them hard and early. Uh, that's not what you want to hear first thing in the morning. 
Oh, by the way, if you're still watching, you should come out and play with us uh, on a Tuesday or Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you're free. Uh, we're playing Jackbox games, and it's actually quite a bit of, a bit of fun. We're trying to get other people to play with us, so... If you have time, if you're not uh, working your essential job, you can come out and play. Oh wait, no, I'm done. Wait. Well, we have a lot of supporting cards, not a lot of creatures. That's odd. Oh, hey! Welcome to the party. I wish I had another red mana. You would be right on curve. Now we're going to try to protect him with Flicker Fate, which is why we're not pumping him up right now. Seeing as how we got all these great support cards and can't cast him. Vanishing light. Targeting. Him. Flicker fake. No, you don't. <laughs> Oof, this keeps going this way. This is going to be another really short game. Let's see what you got. Elspeth's Nightmare. He's going to finally get this thing. You got him. That's unfortunate. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh. What does this thing do next turn? Oh, no, we don't. No. No, we're not doing that. Uh, if he doesn't have a defender, I think that's the game. That's interesting. Okay, sure. Phalanx tactics, so we'll see. I basically need him not to have an Omen of the Sun. I think that's where we're at. Oh, he gained life. Well, that's unfortunate. Back to two. I've cleared the board again. That guy's annoying. I would kill him and he'd still be alive, but that's that doesn't kill. Him. Take action. Let's have have another one. Well, 
Wait, he just flooded out, didn't he? Oh, yes. Get on the team. No, oh, we'll wait a turn. He's like, oh god. Oh no. Well. Well, he's got some hot cards. That was some bullshit. Got my Helio. Well then. Oh man, and just before I got Daxos too. Um, so that kills that. What happens next turn? Does that cost two more? Sure. Oh! You bastard! Finally. Yeah, by the way, my um, YouTube channel, I've renamed it Absolute Nil, so it coincides with my Twitch stream. And we have all of our past games up there for you to check out if you're interested. Um, give you an idea of what I do. <laughs> he came back strong, huh? Okay. Alright, he's at four. I think... I think since my resources are better, I'm just going to come at him. Alright, so I can keep this. No, no, I have to make sure he dies. Sacrifice another creature or an enchantment. What do you want to do, man? Not sure this was a great play, honestly. But, you know, that's what I did. You know, I didn't even think about that. But yeah, yeah, that works. Damn.
Okay. Save me, so I'll send it away. See what else we have on top. That doesn't help. This game is unfortunately slipping away as I have squandered my resources, and he is still good to go. Sad loss. <laughs> Boo. No, wait, I, ah, I'd already let this one slip away. But yeah, that was an extra really good mistake in there. up a couple of times in that game. I'm not gonna lie, that felt pretty bad. If you're watching, my bad. <laughs> I am not a professional. I make stupid mistakes. It's hard to justify keeping this hand, especially when my opponent's on the play. So I'm probably going to have to throw this back. It looks good, kind of. But I need two red to activate that, so essentially I already have six cards in my hand. Um, this one's not great either, but I think this is a keeper.
Heliod is down. I'm looking very good. Go get some. Yes, I would like an aura card. I would like I'd like a rose blessing. We got good stuff going on. Heliod is good. One, two, three. I do not have a way to give him the five that he wants. And then I drew Commanding Presence. That's even better. Put that up. 
First things first, that commanding presence has got you. The hell no. What's he bringing back? Spellfield, Tart Creature. This is your devotion to black, so one, two. Kill that guy. Doesn't kill that guy, does it? Oh, because of him. Ah! This is getting annoying. just leave them in that order. Either one of them is a huge help, but I think I think a way I see a way to play this in my favor. Alright. Okay. No attacks. Go ahead. If he doesn't have removal, I might be okay. That's annoying. Okay, well, that hurt a lot. Well, that card's really good. Well, these people have really just had the perfect combos at the right times, huh? Hmm.
Heliod, keeping me in there. Red Apathy. I can't win for losing, man. He's just got everything. Okay, well, never mind. He had absolutely every card he needed to win, and there was nothing I could do. That was unfortunate. All right, that's all right. We got two losses. It happens. Let's at least get a third win here. I don't think there's anything I could have done in that game better. I mean, maybe, but Jesus Christ. I, mean, I had good cards, he had just, just better. Um. Normally I wouldn't keep this, but sure. Hope it doesn't come back to bite me. Like, and I'm on the play? Alright. Oh. Actually, it did not come back to bite me. It's nice when things work. Yeah, I'm gonna need one. This deck is totally capable. Totally. Hey, don't you do that to my boy there. Hey, Flicker Fate, just in time. This has really been, uh... This has been really lucky. That's not going to make him, he's still going to be, okay. So, yeah, so we're just going to attack this guy. We're going to play him. And we're going to hold this Flicker Fate, because we might, might not want to use it yet. with that. Yeah. Now we're going to flip it. Well, we got the three wins. So we just need three more. We can do it. 
right? Or is it four wins? No, we need four more wins. Huh. Let's let's at least get to five wins. So we need to win this one and the next one, and I feel like that'll be a, a success. Um, probably not with this hand. I'm glad my opponent's going first with a hand like this. Good thing I can't see my top card. I'd be really sad if it was a planes. Well, that's that's why you watch me play to get better, right? Right? That's how that works. Sure. I'm not great, but I'd say I'm above average. Capable. And we're gonna throw the incendiary guy back. Kind of sucks because that's our only good early play. Now, this hand isn't nearly as good as I was thinking it was. Um, I guess that's what we do. We just need to draw some action. Our hand is very slow, though. very very slow. That did not help. Temple Thief is really good really aggressive creature. Well costed, that's for sure. We're taking some early damage. Iliad is down. Maybe. Yes. Like, he has blue, so he can counter it. He could also exile it, or whatever. Definitely got the card advantage going. We're about to have a problem. Because if he just keeps attacking and leaves mana open, he's probably going to be able to counter this guy. And we don't have anything going on after that. It's a really weird hand. That's fair. Alright, so... We're at 16, but we got Heliod. So I'm just going to go ahead and play my creature out. We have stuff we can do here in a moment. Try not to get cute with it. So I have my Revoke Existence, which is good for this guy. That's the thing I was talking about that gets so out of hand, but I got revoked existence, so I'm fine. I wonder why I didn't attack there. That's weird. Anyway, uh, we'll revoke existence you because you know. And Daxos is down, and that gets me that much closer to Heliod becoming an actual dude. Alright, 
Now things just start to get good for me, hopefully. And this guy can't block this guy because of his special ability, so there was no reason to hold him back. Okay. So at this point, we're just going to attack. And we're going to hold serve for when this guy attacks. And he's like, nope. <laughs> Not dealing with that. Okay, so we got the four wins. We're four and two. One more win, I'm going to count this as success. And then if we manage to run the board and get seven wins, then woo! Big money hustler. Nine, 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 Gambit. Okay. This is one land away from being awesome. But it also has a bunch of red and I got no red. And I don't think we can do that. Oh, that did not help. Um, whew. Okay. So here's... I'm going to explain why I'm about to keep this. I'm going to throw Daxos back since he's double white. I have more white than red mana in the in the deck, so I would guess that I would draw. I definitely do not want to go to five cards. And Annex can come down and give me a little... I don't know. This is tough. I'm going to keep. Daxos goes back. And now I'm going to need a little luck. That was a little luck. <laughs> I wasn't a white man. I would have been much better. Come on, please. Oh, you're killing me. Literally killing me. We're gonna take at least a three hit here. There's the white man I needed last turn. Ah. Uh... Okay. I don't mind taking damage here. Yep. Nope. Okay, that helps. becomes attached to creature you control, you get a 1-1 one, one white cube.
attack so I'm too far behind on life right now shit double shit uh, this guy's just having all the luck in the world um, See what we can do here. This is quickly slipping away. I mean, he's got more stuff out, better resources than me. It's going to be really hard for me to win this one. Him not attacking there really helped, though. Okay, so if we do that... Three. Two. It's starting to stabilize some. Flicker Fate could help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Hmm. I think we have to take the removal spell. Is wacky. Yep. Still, all right, so we have to block. This guy, I want this one then. We'll block this one. rid of him. I block here. So I'm barely alive. <laughs> barely, barely, barely. Um, Alright. 
So. Target you. And kill him. It doesn't really matter. Then I cast this. And again, this doesn't matter. No. Whew! I'm still alive! I have 3 health and he has 34, but I am still alive. Now, if I draw... If I draw Heliod soon, I might be able to pull out of this hole. But I think that's what would, what it would take at this point. Because he is so far ahead of me right now. He has nothing in his hand and he's attacking me with all of this? Does that feel really stupid to anyone else? Uh, or is it just me? Okay, that'll take me to two. matched up evenly on dudes now. My dudes are better than his dudes. Don't bite. Gosh, this is so close right now. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that draws is dead even. Six. So we each have six. That will help tremendously. I'll throw him out there. Wow, we might actually pull this off.
That's amazing. Oh, because he has to attack, yeah. So I killed the flyer, I think. Because the flyer represents... Well, no, the flyer doesn't really represent that anymore, does it? How many cards does he have? 19? Yeah, so he's not close to milling himself out. So he can keep that. Or do I want him... Well, I don't want him to have card advantage either, because that's how he wins the game. So yeah. So yeah, I get rid of that. Man, that felt good. That, that felt really great. That totally made up for the one I let slip away. <laughs> Alright, so we're five wins. So now, you know, getting two more doesn't feel that, uh, that out of the, out of range. So let's, let's get there. How much fun was that? Um, it's got a good start. the opposite of what I wanted there. Thanks for the support, man. Your support got me there. <laughs> This uh, not getting this land here is not helping. Specifically not helping. Yeah. Oh my god.
Okay. I'm probably just gonna be beaten by my own lands in this game, because I'm, I'm quickly just getting to the point where I can't really come back, even with Heliod out. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Basically, I either draw a land or die here, and then I'm still probably dead. But we got the five wins, and that last win was immaculate, so I'm still pretty happy. Wow. We just we just got nothing. guys if you drop by and uh, watch me play today it was a it was a better deck than it I think it was a seven win deck and we just we misplayed one game real bad and then we got beat by just amazing card draw uh, and on that last one we got beat by utter, utter mana screw so yeah it happens but that wasn't too bad I'm I'm totally fine with where we ended up on that looks like we even got some mastery stuff going on I will open the packs before we go. That's what I do for you. I open packs. The first Erowan Games. Treacherous Blessing. And Wave Break Hippocamp. All right, I'm sure we'll have another video soon, so thank you for coming by, and uh, yeah, have a great day.